have you ever had that awkward space in your house or in a room? Well, as you can see, this is this awkward space, a big gap in between the washer and the dryer. And we are gonna fill this gap with, yes, as you can see here, a rolling cart storage. And as you can see here, the build out of that, and then I'm going to apply paint to it as well, and then show you what you can exactly use this for. It's great storage in your laundry room. Oh, and while we're at it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and definitely hit that subscribe button. And as you can see here, the paint I am using is some Rust-Oleum Interior Exterior Black Latex Paint. And I will just be applying a couple of coats of that to the entire rolling cart. And here along the trim uh, of the top and the bottom, I am just using some bare interior, exterior, high gloss paint. And this is good for trim, baseboards in your house. It gives a very nice, glossy, shiny finish and it's easily wipeable. And here we're gonna be adding on the handle so that it is easy to pull out the cart and push it back in. And it is just a simple handle that I went to my local hardware store and picked up for just a few dollars. And as you can see here, it makes for easy pull out again and pushing back in because it is again on wheels. Now you can see I have all the organization installed in here. And I just have all the different things that I use, like my baking soda I use in the laundry sometimes. And this is something that I keep as well in the um, cabinet to use them in the car or place them in the closet or in the linen closet. And um, my supply is getting low, so I'm going to replenish it as well. Dryer sheets make excellent use as far as in the back seat. You could put it under your seat as air fresheners, uh, also in your trunk keeps your trunk nice and fresh, especially if you like to haul around clothes or you're buying things, uh, old furniture or whatnot, like I do, and uh, you like to keep things smelling nice and fresh, these are great for that. So I'll just roll them up, and then I'll just pop them in the jar. My dryer sheets that I showed you earlier, and I use those, and extra tissue paper with paper towels, and I have also my wipes that I use throughout the house, especially downstairs because we have the kitchen and then we have the extra bathroom also that's located right around the corner from here. And my dryer balls as well. And it just has excellent storage as you can see. I have down here is my soaps. Uh, of course, just regular laundry soap, some wool light, fabric softener, liquid fabric softener. And I keep also my bottles, which I need to fill as well. Here, uh, I keep my alcohol because I like to use sometimes just uh, natural cleaning products, uh, such as alcohol and water. It's great on your wood floors and tile floors. And I'll be refilling that. And I keep also an extra bottle of alcohol here. And also just other cleaning products and my towels as well, my dusting cloths. Just many different things that I use throughout the room and just to keep the areas clean and speak and span. Here's a great storage piece and you can create something like this in your home if you have a big space in between your washer and your dryer so that you won't have that big void in between. This is great again for storage. And again you just push it in because it is on wheels. I want to thank you for joining me and again you can have a great storage piece like this. As I said before, if you have the big void or it could be a small void in between your washer and your dryer and you could use a piece like this for storage and also you could use the top of it when placing different items uh, from around your room on top of it such as your laundry products when you are using them. And uh, I love the install of this handle in this uh, brush nickel finish and uh, it's nice and long and easy to grip and easy to use to glide the cabinet out of and into. And thank you for joining me here. 
uh happy new year again this has been chanel here from angelic interior designs and y'all have a great day and i'll see you in the next one and if you look back at previous videos this cabinet was already here it's not like it is a totally redo for the new year and i just decided to go ahead and finish it out and to provide you with the video and show you how we created it thanks again for watching this has been chanel here from angelic interior design see you in the next one